James Moore, and I am here to introduce Mr. Philip Thesaurus and Ms. Christy Foy to you for tonight's poetry reading and cello performance. The goal of the evening is to introduce you to Philip Thesaurus's new book of poetry, The Light of the Moon, and the nuanced and professional musical talent of Christy Foy in a collaborative and synergistic setting. Phil and Christy have rehearsed their collaboration in voice and sound, and together they present a striking vignette of artists in collaborative performance. Christy Foy is a public school instrumental music teacher. She received her undergraduate degree in music education from Berkeley College of Music and her graduate degree from the Boston Conservatory. As a cellist, Ms. Foy has pursued a diverse career in music, having performed and recorded with a variety of ensembles throughout the Boston area. She is a member of the pop folk group, Walter and the Night Owls, as well as a local cover band, the Fancy Bassettes. She is also the cellist for the Loft String Orchestra, a quartet. Phil Hesuris is a poet who has previously published books of poetry, including Swimming Alone in 2003 and Blow Up the Moon in 2009. He co-produced a, through 2007, a 10-year poetry program project, Places, videotaping local poets reading their work in settings which they chose. He is a co-founder of Soar Without Limits, Heal Through the Arts, and conducts workshops for brain injury survivors and caregivers in order to promote healing through poetic expression and he has helped to facilitate presentations of survivor and caregiver art with poetry responses at events here at the Brockton Public Library. Uh, some housekeeping notes, please shut off all your cell phones or put them onto vibrate. Hold your applause until the end of the entire performance. There will be a question and answer period at the end of the performance. <coughs> Uh, books will be on sale, Lower Up the Moon and Light of the Moon, sold separately for $12.99. If you would like an autographed copy, it's $13. <laughs> if you would like to purchase the pair of books, it will be $20, autographed included. There will be a notebook on the back of the table. Please submit your comments about the performance and please leave your name. Philip and Christie would like to thank the Brockton Library and Director Paul Engel for providing this beautiful space and support for all artists and, and art education in the community. They would like to thank Mark Lindy, General Manager of Brockton Community Access, for its support and promotion of arts in the Brockton community. The objective tonight is to engage you in a process of thought and observation and sensory stimulation as we introduce these two artists. The stage is set. I give you Mr. Philip Thesaurus and Ms. Christy Ford. Take three pieces of cheese, 
hand cotton in distress. You like American, I like cheddar. Heat pan with high flame. Place a thin layer of cheese around the edge of bread. You like wheat, I like rye. Thicker, towards the middle. Turn flame to low. Gently put sandwich into pan. Be patient. You taught me this. We have two daughters. Their names are Caitlin and Sarah. You, their wonderful mother. We have two daughters. Their names are Caitlin and Sarah. You, their wonderful mother. I am remembering for you. When buying presents for special occasions, birthdays, Christmas, <coughs> anniversaries, give lots of hints. Shape present sounds like spastic charades, then dance around the present saying ooh la la, then pretend to get angry when we guess right, <laughs> laugh. You taught me this. We have three cats, Bella, Bobbles, and Beauty, and one dog, Lion. You saved them, MSPCA. Can't we take them all? The next door neighbor, whom they found dead one morning, her cat, Bobbles, was meowing for her last lost master. Bobbles, who you hand fed to trust once again. Your compassion purrs around your feet, soft fur presses against you, weaving a dance, then a howl, a tail wags, giving you her underbelly, thanking you for their life. They are remembering for you. Before going to bed, you ask, who's my boyfriend? I answer, I am. Who loves me? I do. Who's going to take care of me? I am. Hold hands, fall asleep. Love, you taught me. My name is Philip. I am your husband. We have two daughters. Their names are Caitlin and Sarah. Three cats and one dog. You live in 33 Park Road. You are 53 years old. You've worked at the same job for 30 years. You have lots of friends. I am remembering. Nail pine cone to lawn stick. Drive sticks into the ground around the bird feeder. Now the squirrels won't bother the birds. Sharon, you taught me this. Your name is Linda. This is your house. You painted this room. You have two daughters. Their names are Caitlin and Sarah. You, their beautiful mother. I am remembering for you. I came home from work, dog tired. The weight of the day on my back and my bones. You bounced into the kitchen, looked at me, then into me, whispered, it's not the end of the day. It's the beginning of the night. Inner beauty. You taught me this. Your name is Linda. My name is Philip, your husband. We have two beautiful daughters, Caitlin and Sarah. You, their wonderful mother. We have three cats and one dog. You are not crazy. This 
This is not your fault. I am remembering for you. It is 5 a.m. The birds sing in a new day. You stir to the nightmares in your head and body. I whisper, who's my girlfriend? You answer, I am. Who loves me? I do. Who's going to take care of me? I am. Hold hands. Fall back asleep.
half dream reflection. Intimacy between dust, water, and the flesh of nature. One last time we turn, receptive to the delicate mist that drapes the last kiss. James Brown preaches this as a man's world. I'm hunched over the stainless steel sink, scraping up the last dried up reminder of nothingness to a dull finish. The table set for two, one chair now always half empty. The candles float the dim light. My steps that carve a path between the stove, refrigerator, and where. The door that stands open that nobody enters or exits in this misshapen space. And James Brown cries how it would be nothing without a woman or a girl, and I breathe empty air of the room now with shades drawn close and hold on to shards of you. Souvenirs that slice time into pieces, fragmenting into echoes of tick talk, leaving anchored memories. And James Brown shouts, Man made the electric light to take us out of the dark. And yet all my thoughts that used to be crisp, taut, and edge now drag formlessly on into days without seasons, propelled by metronome heartbeats that have no yesterday, no tomorrows, and no today. James Brown's voice pours out. Man made the train to carry the heavy load, and my knees buckle under the strain, and fists fly out of control, trying to relieve this burden of pain. The screams of silence now shatter the emptiness. My heart pounds and pounds. Release me. In this moment, I just want it to stop. James Brown wails, man made the boat for the water like Noah made the ark. And yet I'm drowning in my sorrow. I can hardly breathe. I feel you in my grasp. My fingertips that once held you close now falter. I am caught in the whirlpool descending into chaos. Your light, your light fades. James Brown's voice spills out, he's lost in the wilderness. And the staccato pounding of the horns lay a path along my breathtaking cliff. As the choir rests on the last beat, the bass thumps the scene one last time. And James Brown asks, is it all right if I scream?
traffic light green. I wouldn't have it any other way. The constant flow of consciousness. Go, go, go. Driving forward. Every so often the blue moon appears, seeping through rear view mirror, reminding me what propels our subconscious into view for the unreasonable doubt that even for a odd split second, a fraction of the time continuum, we hear the click of the machine. Green to yellow, red, crash, dark night falls, I embrace it. slightly ajar, strands of light filter through, fall on, dust cover photos, knickknacks, mementos, secrets for safekeeping. The water rushes by. I can see the white caps. They travel quickly, so strongly that it scares me. The heart of the house stirs, echoes of the past now farther apart. It does not separate distance that was shared, now sliced, in this hollow vessel, cleaved with the sharp dullness of absorbed ache. My life is like the water, the white caps, my everyday challenges. I try to take them one by one. The once electric tap, tap, tap. Footsteps entering and exiting. Sometimes the speed leaves me behind. I feel as if I'm drowning. I want to stay in one place, but it's not possible. Conversations, laughter, our silence joining together Breathing and sink. <coughs> Inhale. Exhale. But the life, like the water, never stops. It just branches off into smaller rivers and streams. Those are the moments. And even in those tense moments, when our frailties pierce the heart, unintended barbs are thrown in haste, Babylon tongues deface our Achilles heel. I wait for it, reaching for a branch to grab onto, so I can reach the banks and just stand by. We are forced to look inward, where our smallness, if allowed, open the petals of a flower emerge. Letting the water, the world, go by as I try to catch up. My eyelids are slightly ajar. Silken threads of light filter through. I am now and forever the pupil.
people over, thankful to food, neatly pressed against backdrop of uncertainty. Eyes dart back and forth. Conversations pass among friends, quiet laughter, this common bond. I am a stranger, dropped into chair, remember lessons of mother. Don't slouch, sit straight, and be polite. Don't put your elbows on the table, say please and thank you. Bloodline pulses beneath my wrist, the body timing askew, the past a portal to the present. Every day is a present. Don't shove food in your mouth, it looks disgusting, and you could choke. Always use a napkin to dab your mouth. Don't wipe. Finish what's on your plate. Don't interrupt. My watch, which keeps perfect time, draws me in. I stare at the sweeping hand, willing it to stop to coincide with my imperfect timing. Circadian rhythm, kilter off. The sweeping hand continues on and on. Nervous interruption. I fumble, say, excuse my manners, bad habit. Feel the bloodline begin to pulsate, searching for advice that continue on and on. And remember, thank the host and tell them how much you enjoy their company. Serene. 
the gauze glide, greeting the silhouette of life. I kiss you, lips too light. I take a snapshot. Dinner table, father sits across, I opposite end, mother right, yaya left. Broken bread in the middle, advice passed, eventual conversations in broken English, my inactive Greek. I am impatient to finish. What was the urgency? emphasize urgency. I'm trying to relive, reflect, resist. Echoes of scattered discourse fill vacant recollection. This stale accumulation of remembrance, the smell of ethnicity. I alone sit, closed basket tabletop, listening to a box, deciphering trick advertising, yearning for human touch, in humility, flick finger to forehead, in the name of the Father and of the Son, begin penance. ushering the warm tears of spring, the summer solstice elongating, sun radiant in its still illumination of earth, sun, moon, share the sky, my phases of reflecting light. I am the salmon swimming back to origin, the bird homing to womb of nest, migrating, circling back to familiarity, past the danger, the emperor penguin exhausted his perilous passage. I call out to you, critical recognition. Very 
every small drop in the liquid universe. Rippling. 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 Το φως και τον αέρα χωρός 
pleno do máximo o nível, né? E me estou mais isso a fazer-se estar bem. E me estou torcendo menos de rios e passos. E me estou torcendo menos de rios e passos. E se isso está feriado, não adiamo, anexe, calogueri, me perimeno, estou nero, trefe, moedas, eleftoromente. E se, mazim, e me se, mazim, se e me monos, ala ohi, simbera. not leave me. I am the pebble and sand, and you are the water that slides over me. We are together in the moment. We are the connected element of being. The earth receives me. The water recalls. The air releases. You are with me and thought, you are with me in being, I am alone. But not today. I touch you, you are flesh. I kiss you, we are wet. I lose you, I lose me. Heart beating slows, hush serenity. I feel delicate mist in the simplistic movement of crying, immersed in keepsake shadows. My arms flow through the still air, catching memories, and I cup my hands and drink you in. Thirst no longer. I am the droplet in ocean. You are the sky blue that watches over me. Reflections, light, and air, dancing. I close my eyes, dreaming. We are together in this moment. We are the connective element of being. I am a tree rooted in life's spirit. You are the leaves of my branches, spring, summer, fall. I fall into winter's abyss. I am alone. Sweet sounds of birds fading. I lie distant. Tears of silence blanket my eyes. Emptiness. My The earth receives, the water recalls, the air releases. You are with me. We are together. I 